When we're doing engraving in Fusion 360 uh, in our shop, we use a 1 8 by 90 degree countersink to do the engraving. So you're going to have to add that correctly into Fusion 360 tool library. So go to your tool library, make sure you're in the local library, and um, we're going to click on add. And this is actually, even though it's that we're using a countersink, we're going to go under the milling area here and look for engrave slash chamfer mill. We're not going to put it in under a countersink because Fusion 360 will not accept countersink as a correct type of tool when we do an engraving. So we've got to kind of fake it out a little bit, but it works out great in the, in the long run. All right, so we're going to put in our description, which is a 1 8 by 90 degree counter, uh, sink in degree countersink. There we go. All right, 1 8 by 90 degree countersink is our description. Go to our cutter information. Uh, I'm not worried about the number of flutes because I'm just going to uh, put in some information as far as our cutting data. I'm going to kind of skip our usual routine of figuring that out with the calculator because um, I know what works. Diameter is important, 0.125. Uh, shaft diameter, none of that really means much of anything. But we want to make sure our tip diameter is set um, probably to point. Three, we should be good enough for that. Very small tip diameter. And taper angle, that's important. 45 degrees, so that gives us an included angle of 90 degrees. So here's the taper angle right here. Included angle is from one side to the, the other. All right, 90 degrees here. I'm going to jump over my cutting data. Spindle speed is set at 5,000 RPM. Uh, and 40 minute, 40 per minute cut rate. Uh, that's actually good. <clears throat> Those of the, uh, the, the values that you have already, that's fine. We'll just use those because the, that's what we've been using and, um, it's good for the tool in aluminum and it, it goes along at a pretty good clip. So, um, that's, that's it for the speed in the feed. Post processor, whatever you need for a tool number, go for it. Um, so you change it if you want it to be tool six or tool three or tool one, does not matter. And then you click accept. And there you have it. That's right there, ready to use in your, in your local library whenever you need it for engraving. And it's listed under type as engrave slash chamfer mill.